First up on the show, a special court in Delhi has reserved its order on the Delhi Chief Minister's remand case. The Enforcement Directorate had demanded 10 days custody of the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal from the court. Kejriwal was arrested last night in connection with the alleged excise policy scam case by the Enforcement Directorate. The National Corruption Watchdog has alleged that Kejriwal was the kingpin and the key conspirator of the multi-million dollar scam. Now, lawyers representing the Delhi Chief Minister have questioned the timing of the arrest. They have alleged that the BJP-ruled central government is using ED as a weapon to keep the top Aam Aadmi Party leaders locked up during the elections. The Enforcement Directorate, on its part, has alleged that they have established a money trail of over 450 a million rupees. The ED alleges that Delhi liquor policy of 2021 was tweaked to unduly benefit liquor wholesalers. The Aam Aadmi Party in return got kickbacks worth millions that was used for its campaigning in the Goa Legislative Assembly elections. Kejriwal's lawyers have contested the ED's claims saying money trail has not yet been established properly and hence this can't be the basis of an arrest. And some of the top leaders of his party are already behind bars in the alleged money laundering case. The list includes the former Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia and the Rajya Sabha lawmaker Sanjay Singh. Just last week, the agency had arrested the Telangana lawmaker and TDP leader K. Kavita in Hyderabad. A special Delhi court remanded her to ED custody for seven days. The Enforcement Directorate has issued nine summons to Kejriwal since last year, all of which were ignored by the Delhi Chief Minister. Kejriwal had called the summons illegal, alleging that the action of the ED is politically motivated and is part of a conspiracy to destabilize the Delhi government. The tussle between the ED and Kejriwal finally reached the Delhi High Court, which refused to grant protection from arrest to the Delhi Chief Minister on Thursday. Hours later, the Enforcement Directorate came knocking at Kejriwal's doors. His arrest immediately sparked condemnation from senior Aam Aadmi Party leaders and other leaders from the opposition bloc. Senior leaders from the India Alliance have also voiced support for the ensnared opposition leader. And my colleague Dharam Jyot is now joining us from outside the court premises for the very latest on this. And Dharam Jyot, so the matter has been reserved by the court as far as his remand or custody is concerned. What happens next in terms of the legal challenges and the next steps for the Aam Aadmi Party and the Chief Minister? Well, Bhairavi, uh, what we're hearing right now is that maybe in an hour or two, uh, the district court will give its final order in terms of uh, whether or not it will agree to the request of remand made by uh, the enforcement directorate. Uh, in case that happens, uh, scenario number one, uh, we also need to see the number of days for which uh, the probe agency will be keeping the Delhi chief minister in custody. Uh, of course, that custody will be for investigating uh, the alleged uh, scam further and uh, you know, uh, interrogating the Delhi Chief Minister. Uh, higher chances of that happening in terms of what the court observers are saying, what needs to be seen is for how many days that custody will be given to the ED. Now, on the other hand, there is also a separate PIL that was filed in the Delhi High Court uh, in which uh, the PIL demands that Arvind Kejriwal be removed from the post of the Delhi Chief Minister. So there are a lot of parallel legal developments that are taking place, you know, and the news is, the, the legal news is tightening around the Aam Aadmi Party. But of course, they're standing tall, uh, you know, they're trying to fight it as well as they can, as hard as they can. Uh, as we also heard in the past few minutes, there was an entire uh, press conference that was conducted just moments ago by the opposition India bloc. Uh, several leaders came together. They also had a meeting with uh, officers from the election commission. So they are raising this entire issue uh, of Arvind Kejriwal's arrest as that of, uh, you know, a threat to democracy and measures that were taken unconstitutionally per their courts. Uh, so yes, a lot of legal developments are weighted. It is a very case-by-case -case scenario at the moment. 
uh, everything currently rests on what the district court panel will say uh, for how long they will grant uh, the remand to the AD if at all they happen to do so. Bhairvi? Right, Dharmjot. Also, of course, with the legal challenges are the political challenges and the ramifications of the top leader of the Aam Aadmi Party being under arrest. We already have the Deputy Chief Minister who is in jail. We have Sanjay Singh who is also in jail. So what happens to the party? They're saying, of course, the Delhi Chief Minister will remain the Chief Minister as of now. Well, that's what the party is saying at the moment, Bhairvi, and Arvind Kejriwal also made that comment uh, while he was in court, uh, you know, a few moments ago. Uh, but again, the viability of this and the longevity of, of the entire scenario of, you know, a sitting chief minister working and carrying out his duties from behind bars, it's an unprecedented situation. It's not something we've seen uh, happen before uh, in India. But yet again, you know, there are there are uh, the lines of rules and provisions for him to carry out his duties from behind bars. Those lines are very blurry. Uh, you know, the rule book for uh, the prison does not really have any explicit uh, provisions that allow him to carry out his duties. They also do not explicitly disallow him uh, to carry out his chief ministerial uh, responsibilities. On the other hand, there is also, you know, uh, you know, building stress for the party in terms of a vacuum that has been created at the top level party leadership, uh, which is why we also saw a lot of uh, Punjab leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party, including the chief minister, coming to the national capital, one obviously to stand in support uh, with their uh, party founder and Delhi's chief minister, but also to try and figure out what can their plan of action be in the worst case scenario in case the Delhi chief minister ends up behind bars for a longer period of time, especially this close to the Lok Sabha elections. Bhairavi. Right, Dharamjo. Thanks very much indeed for joining us uh, with the very latest then. Of course, this is going to be a long haul for the Aam Aadmi Party. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.